Okay, this week at Supported Study, we looked at the present tense. Um, I feel most people are struggling a wee bit with the present tense, and it is really important for you to, to know how to use these verbs. First of all, to help you with your writing. Secondly, to this will help you with your reading, because quite often you look in a text and you ask me what is the meaning of these words, because you cannot find them in the dictionary. And it is true that if you look for a verb which is conjugated, you won't find that in your dictionary. So by knowing the endings and knowing from which verb that comes from, that will help you. So I would really recommend you to learn all of this uh, by heart. First of all, I'm going to tell you how we form it. So how do we form the present tense in Spanish? So first of all, you take your verb and the infinitive form. The infinitive form is a form you'll find in your dictionary. But it is also the form where you've got the ER, the ER, and the IR at the end. Once you've got that form, you need to drop the ending. So you need to drop the ER, the ER, or the IR. After that, you need to add the endings, depending on who is talking. This is the most important thing for you to learn. So first, we're going to look at the regular verbs. And we're going to look at the AR verbs. The AR verbs are the biggest group of verbs in Spanish. So if you take the example of cantar, for example, every time you've got an AR verb and you want to use it for you, so you say I, your verb needs to end with a no. That's why I sing this canto. If you want to talk about you, you want to talk uh, to someone else, um, the ending of the verb is going to be an AS because it's an AR verb. Uh, so you sing because can does. If you want to say he or she or usted, which is a formal way in Spanish of talking to someone you don't know, the letter is an A, like an AR verb. So you say canta. Then we sing, if you want to say we, is amos. So we sing is cantamos. If you want to say you plural, so if, for example, I talk to you all as a class, we have to put I at the end. So you sing for a group of people would be cantais. Then they or ustedes. Ustedes is a plural form, so plural formal form. So the endings are en. That's why we say you, they sing is cantan. If you look at the er verbs, if we take the example of comer, if you want to say I, your ending is o. So I eat is como. If you want to say you, your ending is es because it's an er verb. So you eat is comes. If you want to say he or she or usted formal form of one person uh, is an E. So he eats or she eats will be come. If you want to say we, you're going to have emos because it's ER. So we eat is comemos. If you want to say you eat for plural for a group of people, you're going to have A's. So you eat plural is comes. If you want to say they or ustedes, which is the plural form, formal form, uh, is en, so they eat is common. So last, uh, the last group of verbs is the ir verb. This one is a wee bit more difficult. Uh, if we take the example of vivir, so if you want to say I, your ending is o, so I live is vivo. If you want to say you, your ending is actually es, and not is. Be careful with this. So you live is vives. If you want to say he or she or usted, the formal form for one person, your ending is e. So he lives is vive. If you want to say we, your ending is emos or imos if it's in Spanish, in English, but we pronounce it emos in Spanish because it's an IR verb. So we live is vivimos. If you want to say you live for a group of people, plural, is is the ending. So you live for a group of people, this vivis. And then if you want to say the or ustedes, the formal plural form, is en. So they live is vivin. Now I'm going to talk to you about the irregular verbs. So the only problem of the irregular verb is there is no rule, so you need to really learn them. I've put the most common ones, that the ones you really need to learn. So as you can see, if you say ser, there's two, there's ser, to say to be, sorry, there's there and estar. So I am can be soy or estoy. You are can be eres or estas. He or she is can be es or esta. We are somos or estamos. You are plural is sois or estáis. 
and they are Eston or Eston. I will go into more detail when to use one, when to use the other one, but at the moment make sure you know. Then you've got the verb here, which means to go, and tener, which means to have. So I go as boy, you go as vas, he and she goes as va, we go as vamos, you go plural as vais, and they go as van. For tener, to have, I have as tengo, you have as tienes, he or she has as tiene, we have as tenemos, you have for a group of people as tenéis, and they have as tienen. Now we look into hacer, which means to go, to do, sorry. I do is hago, you do is haces, he or she does is hace, we do is hacemos, you do plural is haceis. And they do is asen. And there comes the verb salir, to go out. I go out is salgo. You go out is sales. He or she goes out is sale. We go out is salimos. You go out for a group of people is salis. And they go out is usted. Salen. So now your task. The first task I would like you to do is to make a poster. By making the poster, make it really colorful. Make it a way that is going to help you to learn these verbs. And you can stick them in your selling in front, on the top of your bed or in front of your bed. Just, you need to do a repetition of it to make sure you learn it. And then you've got a couple of exercises from Languages Online. And some exercises from Conjo Gamos as well. So this should help you to learn your verbs at the present day.